Hey guys, here with Chavi. Thanks for the questions. Here we go. Nah, uh, I'm a, uh, I think a uh, really uh, calm person outside the pitch. I like to laugh. Um, yeah, a family guy. That's uh, a lot with the family. And uh, yeah, that's how I am. Um, the person I call always is my brother. Uh, we made the celebration together and, and yeah, it's special for him as well for my little sister. But in, uh, if it has to be like this, it's my brother, yeah. Uh, yeah, because all the numbers that um, that I, I wear in all the teams were already picked. So that's why I choose the number 20 as well. And uh, yeah, I think it's a, it's a beautiful number. So that's why I choose this one. I will choose, uh, I think the last one against uh, Red Star uh, here at home. I think uh, it was a really beautiful goal and uh, it, what, it went uh, good inside. So that's why. And the celebration was tough, so everything. Um, it felt really special. Um, I've been dreaming of of playing this competition since I I know already about football, and um, yeah, playing against the best teams in the world is a pleasure for me. So it feels uh, really good, and I hope to score a lot of more goals. I think both are special. I didn't win uh, both yet, but yeah, obviously uh, winning the World Cup with your country is is a big thing, and uh, the first one as well for for my country would be special yeah being in the history of the country so i would i would say the world cup yes i remember the first uh, game i played with the national team of uh, oranya and um, it's really special because the first one and being able to play uh, with 19 years old in the world cup is is really special so and the t-shirt is beautiful so <laughs> everything complete i've i've seen a lot of players but uh, if I had to choose one that I've seen, I would say Arya Robben because he was a really fast player, a player that could uh, score a lot of goals and has been really important for our national team, so I would choose him. Yeah, obviously I, I uh, speak at home Dutch, but I grew up in Spain, so the Spanish is, is as well my first language. Um, yeah, I have all my friends as well, uh, as well in, in Spain. So I would say Dutch and Spanish are my first uh, two languages. Then obviously you have English, French. I speak it really fluent as well. And, uh, and I'm learning uh, German now, so that's good. Yeah, it's good. I'm now on, on the lessons, but I already can uh, speak little things with the teammates. And um, yeah, it's special. We get all this good uh, stuff like this, so that's good. It's been... Uh, 20 years old. <laughs> it's good, this type of thing, so that's easy for me. Because it's, it's as well the kind of music I listen. You have uh, Sima Khan, you have uh, Castello. Because, yeah, these two I would say. And, and the worst, worst, he puts always music on the match days, but I don't know why, it's David. But yeah, I would say him. Yeah, obviously I have a good connection with everyone, but the guys that uh, that I I'm more with them is uh, of uh, Dudu, um, Smo, Castello, Shadai, Ilaj, and uh, Luis. So it's the French group a little bit. So there are a lot of uh, of, of of us are new here, so we came together. So that's why I think uh, we have a really good connection. <laughs> you have a lot. But um, I would say uh, I would say Shadai because I knew him already from PSG. But um, he's the youngest. He, he he doesn't like that he's the youngest. But but he is the youngest of the of the group, and and we make a lot of jokes with him. So I would say him as well. The, the dancing moves. Uh, we are on, we we spend a lot of time together in the dressing room, uh, the travels, and uh, we are. The, yeah, young guys, so we, we are on TikTok and we see a lot of dances. So, yeah, we came together and we say, okay, if we, if someone of uh, our group scores, uh, we can do the dance together. And um, yeah, it came like this and now it's natural. So if someone scores, uh, we, we try to do something. <laughs> the worst dancer is Dudu, for sure. Uh, and not and the best dancer. I, I think everyone has, has his own uh, skills on the, uh, on the dance floor. So. I would say everyone of the French group, yeah. In my time off, I I try to 
to rest a lot. But um, yeah, as well, when my family is with me, I like to to play games, um, t- table games as well, like Uno, um, talking together, love together, go somewhere to eat. Obviously, I don't have a lot of time to do that, but uh, when I when I have it, I, I try to, to do this little stuff. So yeah, the simple stuff, I would say. I didn't uh, visit a lot the, the, um, the city because what I say, uh, we have game every three days, so I don't have a lot of time. But um, yeah, I, w- I was living as well in the center and um, in the hotel, and I went out a lot of a uh, lot of times to eat somewhere. And uh, yeah, I would say the the city in general. I went to a lot of restaurants, good restaurants. So uh, yeah, that a little bit. Um, really good. I'm a guy that uh, that adapts really fast. Uh, on everything as well with the teammates um, yeah I feel the directly uh, involved with the team so that is a uh, that's a really important thing and uh, obviously with the with the, with the new country new culture it's, uh, it's uh, funny to experience this thing and and yeah now I feel at home so that's good they make me this question a lot of times um, I don't really I don't know since I was little I, I had in my in my head to be uh, one of the best footballers in, in, in the world, so I, I don't think so that that I, I didn't think about it. Uh, I didn't have a, a plan B in general, so <sighs> I don't know something related with the football maybe, but I don't think so. I would be uh, a, a teacher of a, <laughs> or I don't know policeman, so I, so I don't know that deep sea diving because I like to swim a lot. Uh, Skydiving I like as well, but that. I have, I don't know, skydiving is, is something uh, something special, but as well a little bit scary, I think, but uh, I would say deep sea diving. You have a lot of Dutch Dutch food, but I would say you as well, uh, a lot of Suriname food uh, from my roots, from my, from my family. Um, that's the food that I eat the most. I would say you have to, I would say the name and then you guys can, can look for it. You have bami, you have sauto soup, you have roti, and for me, really, this is the best dishes that uh, that I eat. So I would say that, yeah. <laughs> with, I think with, yeah. It's not strange, no? With or not? I don't know, but I with, I will choose with. <laughs> oh, gym food. Oh. I have to try it, uh, the the German food uh, here in the club. We. We have general food of, of a sport uh, athlete, so I didn't eat a lot of this. But if you guys uh, can tell me which this is is, uh, is the best, I will try it for sure. Here's the end of the questions. Thank you very much, and I uh, I nominate Luis to come here and answer your questions. Ciao, ciao.